As we were driving through Seattle, we were abducted by an alien spaceship. I think we were gone for like three days. How long were we gone for, Mia? About three days. About three days. I know there's all sorts of Power Rangers movie news. Oh yeah, I knew all about the Power Rangers movie, and I couldn't say nothing about nothing. Hey guys, remember vlog number 340, Sudden Suspicious Road Trip? I'm gonna make it less suspicious now. So Mia and I were running all over LA taking care of various things that we were being kind of vague about, and then we left. So we drove from California to Oregon. We stopped in Roseburg, Oregon and stayed with Mia's mom, but only for one night. There, get it! Yeah, it's attacking me! Eh, it's here! Eh, eh. Bed bug. Anyway, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so then we got back on the road, we drove through Portland, through Seattle, and then where did we go? Welcome to Canada. We're in Canada. We have to go over that scary old Canadian bridge? Yeah. All right, so you may have gathered by now. We went to Canada. Vancouver, more specifically. Huh. Really something. We're here. I know. I can't believe we made it. <laughs> Where are you gonna sleep? Oh no. So we arrived at our hotel and then it was time for dinner. Oh perfect, we found a subway. <laughs> Kidding, of course. There was a good Thai restaurant across from the hotel. Sippy bites. It's a something tofu delight. It looks delightful. We're wondering how much food we just ordered. <laughs> Mia's watching hockey. <laughs> Enjoying the hockey? Yeah, I've actually seen a couple of fights already. Mia started screaming, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Mia. And a guy got a hockey stick lodged in his face mask. It's a drunken spicy noodle I got. Yeah. Mia's pineapple rice thing came in a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> And there it is. And then we got coconut and jasmine rice. Try the coconut rice. This is my favorite. Isn't that wonderful? Love coconut rice. Mia's in Mia heaven. It's delicious. <laughs> when we walked into dinner, the guy, it was a little hard to understand. He was saying, I know you. He knew I was Spider Man. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm so confused. Do you want me to push you on one? We go down the hill to the valet. That would be fun, yeah. Until a car hits you. That Thai food was fantastic. And how about this view? What a view. We're in Canada. Should we leave some socks for John? <laughs> so really, this should have been an unbelievable Power Rangers vlog, and it, it really isn't going to be, but I'll explain why, and I'll, I'll talk about what I can. Alright, so next morning in Canada. view we have from her room. She's up. She's up. All right, we're up. It's time for coffee. This is our hotel. We found a Starbucks. We found coffee. 
In this Starbucks, everybody was so well behaved. <laughs> it was so peaceful, Mia and I couldn't believe it. So we sat there enjoying our coffee and had a little breakfast thing there. It was just so peaceful. Everybody there was behaving. Mia and I had a little bit of time to kill before our thing later. Does it go to Toys R Us? I've never been to Canadian Toys R Us. Sadly, there was no Toys R Us for us. Might be the most fun I've ever had in a Starbucks. Yeah. It was a good time. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. Mia and I went back to our room for a little while. We got ready and then we came down for dinner with Scott, with Andre, and with people from Saban. After dinner, we got into this van and began our tour. What am I doing? Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> am I recording? I don't know what I'm doing. Is this a video? It's like the I think you did most a video. Like I know. <laughs> like, oh, so <laughs> what am I doing? All right, so what's up with me trying to film on my phone? No cameras were allowed. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why phones were okay, but we weren't allowed to take pictures or video at any of the, uh, the places that we were about to go. All right, if I remember correctly, the first stop was at like one of the production offices and we just looked at like concept art. Here's the Megazord. That was one of the images they had up in addition to the individual Zords and Goldar and Rita. I don't remember, did we know what the Rangers looked like prior to that? Like, were they already released? I don't remember now. But we had seen a lot of things for the first time in the production office. Like some of them, they seem pretty cool. The Megazord though, I was like, what happened here? I didn't say that because I think it was kind of a done deal. So, you know, might as well just be nice and say cool. But, um, you know, like it was it was past the point of feedback that could have um, been worked into in, into something that could have been changed. You know, <laughs> I was like, fans are not going to like this. <laughs> Definitely very stylized and obviously not what everyone is used to from the 90s. In addition to all the concept art that they had all around the office, there was also like 3D models of, I think it was the command center, Trini's bedroom maybe. So next we went to Zordon's spaceship and that set was really cool. It was actually a big giant spaceship set. It wasn't just all green screen. That was like a real physical set. Zordon was obviously a green screen composite, but the set itself was a physical, big, enormous stage. Oh, and Greg from Bandai was there. I totally forgot until just now. <laughs> a bunch of people from Bandai were were on the set, so we went and said hi to Greg. Zordon's spaceship set was really cool. And then we went down into like the rock area that was outside the spaceship, I guess. That would be the area where if the rangers jumped up, there was like water above them. On the way to the next location, Scott was thirsty and wanted to stop off at one of those gas station supermarket kind of places, quickie mart kind of places. So we stopped off and checked out like the different Canadian candies and things that were different from what we had in America. You know, Kit Kats are different here? Oh yeah, they have the... It's a different chocolate. Huh. Oh. I wonder if Reese's are different too. Two for two twenty-two. <laughs> you should get stuff that you don't normally see. I mean, it's it. sour patch kids. Oh. Huh. So the next location was to actually watch them film. The Rangers were fighting Rita Repulsa, played by Elizabeth Banks, and she was really good. Like, she was really creepy as Rita in person. Really, really good, creepy performance. We hung out with the Rangers for a little bit after filming, and then I think somebody either from Saban or Lionsgate took the photo, which was not sent to us until after we were allowed to say that we had gone to Canada. We were out pretty late, so at midnight we were still in the van, and it was Mia's birthday. <laughs> so everyone sang happy birthday to Mia in the van on the way home. <laughs> this has been quite a night. I'll say. It is, oh god, it's almost one in the morning. I'm actually thinking about going back out to get some pizza. Well, I am anyway. Mia's not that hungry, I don't but... know how you could possibly be hungry. Well, not all that hungry, but I mean, can we just leave Canada without trying their pizza? <laughs> we did not have any pizza in Canada. This was really a very fun night. It's Mia's birthday now. Yeah, man. We just bought some Canadian money. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And they have like the rainbow reflectiveness. Oh, this elevator's well lit. Yeah. Alright, finally going to bed. Good night, my girl. We're getting ready to go to breakfast and then check out. It's our last day in Canada. The birthday girl's putting on her little socks. That's what you just watched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and her little shoes too. 
That wasn't evident either. May I go to bed? <laughs> and now to find breakfast. It's a beautiful day in Vancouver. We're on our way to find coffee, and then I uh, guess we're gonna head out. Do I smell pizza? Pizza. Boston pizza. We had our last Canada breakfast at Tim Hortons. They have a Nutella donut. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna try that. They have a Stanley Cup playoff donut. It's a really nice day for a walk. Alright, the room is pretty much in order. Goodbye, Vancouver. Hun? Take the bags, quick! You take the bags. You take the bags, it's your birthday. It's my birthday. It's you your take birthday, the you bags. take the Come on, honey. Don't start that again. <laughs> take those bags, come on. We opened the door this morning. There's a Morphicon bag. <laughs> <laughs> Scott said he can't take all these on the plane. It's tea, half and half lemonade. Okay, we'll, we'll drink them. What's that? Oh, there's a lot of drinks. Huh. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. And now, our adventure continues. Welcome to the United States of America. And then after Canada, Mia and I drove across the country to Pennsylvania, where Jerry met us, and then we started looking around at Pennsylvania as a potential place to move to. All right, so there's the Missing Canada vlog. I'm not sure how exciting it is. It had potential to be very exciting, or like a really cool video, especially for the other channel. Um, Mia and I are thrilled that we got to go, but it definitely seems like we got more out of it than Saban or Lionsgate did for uh, having us there. It was very strict. We, we couldn't even say we were going to Canada. Like we couldn't just say like we were going to visit our grandmother in Canada. Like we couldn't even say we went there. It was like so secretive. And once we were in the van, even though phones were okay, like we couldn't take cameras, couldn't bring anything on the set. Um, if I really wanted to be sneaky, I probably could have. But I think one of the many things we signed said something along the lines of we were liable for the cost of the movie if we leaked something or like something insane like that. And it was like a whole big long thing. So you didn't want to mess around with that, especially, you know, I didn't want to ruin a relationship either with, with any of the companies going forward. So I behaved. It was so difficult <laughs> to be walking on those sets and not be able to take any pictures. Ah, so, you know, then we left and went back to our our daily lives, I guess, doing our thing, and, and everyone keeps saying, Bruno, did you see this? Did you see that? I've got some Power Rangers movie news for you, Bruno. I'm like, yeah, really cool. Didn't know that. <laughs> Couldn't say anything. By the time we were allowed to say that we had gone to Canada and talk about the trip, there was positively nothing that we saw there that hadn't already been uh, leaked somewhere else. And like, we didn't have any of our own footage or video, like there was just nothing. There was nothing for us to show that was new or different than, than all the other things that were now coming out online or in magazines or, you know, other, other news sources. I'm thrilled that we, that we got to go, but I'm not really sure what we added to it by not being able to film or vlog on the sets. If I were Saban or Lionsgate or whoever was in charge, I would have said, you know, film, whatever you want, just we have to hold the memory cards or something. We definitely could have done our own thing that people would have been interested in that wasn't just like, you know, power force kind of stuff. Like that's essentially what it ended up being was, was uh, Saban sent us some images from the set and said, here, you know, you could share with your followers. I, I didn't need to go to Canada to do that. Glad I went, <laughs> but you know, we, we could have made a really cool behind the scenes video, so. Uh, one of those things that you saw us taking care of in LA before we left for our trip was passports. Mia and I don't ever go anywhere, so we didn't have passports. Everything with Saban was always so last minute, and when they asked us, there wasn't actually enough time from the time that they asked, are you interested in going, to actually get passports. So we were able to get pass cards, which let us drive to Canada, but we couldn't actually fly to Canada, which is fine with me, I don't like flying anyway. <laughs> but it wasn't even an option, so it's a good thing that we don't mind driving, because that's the only way we w we we were able to go to Canada was by driving, but we also wanted to go to Pennsylvania anyway, so we just, we did a big loop. Oh, maybe I'll just stick at the very end. We got our souvenir Canada Starbucks mugs while we were at the very peaceful and quiet Starbucks. <laughs> um, the beginning, when I was talking about being abducted by aliens, that was of course like a little, I don't know if it was a clue, Easter egg, but whatever you'd want to call it, that was in reference to, of course, the fact that we were actually walking around Zordon's spaceship. So, I didn't just totally make that up. 
It wasn't a lie to say that we were on an alien spaceship during those three days that we disappeared for. So, I do hide things in the blogs every so often for, you know, anybody that wants to connect dots. Although, I shouldn't have said that. I don't want any dots that didn't need to be connected connected, but sometimes I do that. Sometimes there are little hints and, and things to, to be connected. All right. All right, gonna end here. Thank you guys for watching, and... Good night.